Celebrating 50 years of television in West Texas, an inside look at 630. We're blowing out 50 candles and celebrating being the first TV station in West Texas homes. More on what changed. We're blowing out 50 candles and celebrating being the first TV station in West Texas homes. More on what changed television forever. Plus, the city of Lubbock teams up with Texas Tech students for input on city government. Those stories tonight at 6.30. You're watching CBS 13 News at 6.30. CBS 13 on air, online, on your side. Texas size. A lot of times the community is unhappy about something or the students are unhappy about something and they don't really have a place to talk. Because... Well, a plan to build bridges between Texas Tech and the city of Lubbock get the go ahead. That's tonight's big story. Good evening. I'm Shannon Espinoza in for Becky Neighbors. And I'm Mike Stuffer. Thanks for joining us. Improving the relationship between Texas Tech and the city of Lubbock. That is the goal of a new committee proposed to city council. The panel will uh, bring tech students and city leaders together to share ideas and discuss issues. Tonight, CBS 13's Jeff Corkum talks to tech students and city officials to see how this committee would work. The infamous Purple House, an incident that highlighted a great source of tension between Texas Tech and the city of Lubbock. But following this incident and others, students at Texas Tech began working on ways to help solve problems like these before they start. One of the things that we came up with when we started talking about housing issues and um, business relations with students was to create a committee that dealt with students in the community. From those talks, the City Council will vote this week on the Student Community Committee. One of the goals of this committee would be for citizens to raise concerns regarding Texas Tech, but also a committee where Texas Tech students can raise concerns regarding their city. It's a committee that Mayor Mark McDougal thinks is a good idea for Lubbock. I think it's a good idea. Uh, certainly, uh, you know, the city, uh, uh, the city uh, as a whole supports Texas Tech University. Texas Tech supports the city. Um, and so I, I think it's, uh, you know, something good to let the students know that we do care about, about their needs in the community. More than 27,000 students walk this campus any given school day. Students that help the Lubbock economy, but also students who have issues with it. Anything from businesses to housing to parking. But issues that the mayor hopes can be solved by starting up the Student Community Committee. A lot of times, you know, you can resolve those problems without them getting blow, blown out of proportion like uh, the situation did last year. The hope is that if, if, if this committee is passed, a meeting will be held every month, rotating from a location on the Texas Tech campus to a location off campus so that everybody can get involved. Mike, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Jeff Corcoran reporting live. Again, the issue comes before city council tomorrow. Four of seven uh, city council members must approve the proposal. That's right. And excitement is building at Texas Tech as Red Raiders prepare for Saturday's kickoff against the University of Texas. CBS 13's Michelle Hayes joins us live with a look at how the spirit is spreading and not just on campus, Michelle. That's right, Shannon. This weekend's game is very significant. The Longhorns are ranked in the top five of the country, and already Saturday's game is having a huge economic impact on the city of Lubbock. Thousands of fans will be out and about this weekend to celebrate the game, and local businesses hope to profit. Several hotels in the area are already sold out. Gas stations and restaurants are looking forward to the game this weekend, and we even spoke with many spirit shops that say Red Raider shirts are flying off the racks. Now, for Texas Tech, this game is also very big because it will be nationally televised on our sister station, ABC 28, and officials say that puts the spotlight on Lubbock. Probably 30% of the country will be able to pick up our game. I believe there are two other games at the same time slot. That's what they normally do. Uh, we'll get about 30, 35% of the market. And, um, uh, you know, highlights are, will be able to be picked up by everyone around the country, even those. Now, if you don't already have tickets, you may be out of luck because the only ones we were able to find are on eBay, and those range from $100 to $400. Reporting live at the Jones SBC Stadium, Michelle Hayes, CBS 13 News. Back to you, Shannon. Well, Michelle, have any of the business owners said how much of an increase they're seeing? Actually, they haven't. Like I said, the hotels are sold out, and again, restaurants and hotels just hope to get tons of people through the doors. All right, thanks a lot, Michelle.
All right, other news uh, tonight. After 18 years in the Capitol, Congressman Larry Combest resigns, as we first told you yesterday. West Texas farmers see it as a tremendous loss. Now, Combest uh, spent his career working for the ag community. During his tenure, he passed four farm bills. We again feel like that Larry was really a champion in doing that. He, he really uh, took care of us here and, uh, and, and got excellent legislation for us that that will give us a, a solid future and, and we hope that it'll stand. Uh, one of my great concerns... Dale Kitchens, like many other uh, cotton producers, says if the farm bill does not stand, many farmers could be put out of business. A special election to replace Combest will be held either the first Saturday in February or the first Saturday in May. And tonight's online poll question, tell us which of these candidates would you support as Combest's successor. They include uh, State Senator Robert Duncan, State Representative Carl Isaac, uh, Pete Laney, who is the uh, State Representative in Health Center, former Lubbock Mayor David Langston, or none of the above. Vote by logging on to our website at texasize.com. Of course, we'll have the results of this online poll coming up tonight at 10. Progress appears promising in the conflict with Iraq, but the Bush administration is doubtful. This morning, Iraq announced it would fully cooperate with UN resolution on weapons inspections. President Bush says Saddam Hussein must back his words with action. Next deadline for Iraq is December 8th. Iraq will be required to disclose the full details on its weapons program. Despite today's news, forces continue to protect the U.S. from the threat of war. 1,000 airmen from Cannon Air Force Base will be part of a regular rotation. Troops will deploy from the base near Clovis, New Mexico, sometime after Thanksgiving. Military personnel from Cannon will be gone for at least 90 days, which means they won't be home for the holidays. As Subda Ravinda explains, it's a reality military families learn to deal with. Nearly a thousand soldiers at Cannon Air Force Base will be someplace other than home this Christmas, and these wives know it all too well, especially Chris Stewart, whose husband was part of the same mission last year. He left after Thanksgiving, so they were gone through probably the end of March. It was hard with three kids. They weren't used to it. It was the first TDY for them as well. He could communicate with his family on a regular basis, but his whereabouts were top secret. The upcoming missions are no exception. Cannon families aren't even allowed to speak about it. But Chris is just happy she's no longer included in that group. Now this year will be nice that he'll be here. You know, we don't have to worry. We set up Christmas last year in mid-November. So this year I'm lucky I don't have to do it until the normal time. <laughs> and like her family, Christmas will still manage to come for those less fortunate this year. I've seen Christmas lights up, so that's usually a good indication that they're, they're going to be going TDY. Well, Cannon officials say the destination of this deployment is confidential and they won't speculate if the troops will provide support near Iraq. More than 3,300 active personnel will remain at Cannon after this deployment. Well, hundreds of uh, friends and special guests gather at the Texas Eye Studios today. Coming up, happy birthday, KLBK. We'll hear all about the early days of TV from the man who brought it to West Texas. That's next on CBS 13 News at 630. It's Chili Makes It Better Month at Sonic, featuring the extra-long cheese coney covered in meaty chili with a large order of hot and crispy tots for just $2.99. Only at Sonic. We are overstocked, and that means tremendous savings all over the lot at your used truck headquarters, Shamrock Used Cars. Check out this 2001 Dodge Dually Diesel 4x4 SLT. It's only $28,990. This 2001 Ford F-150 Lariat Super Crew 4x4, only $28,675. That's $28,675. Or drive home in this 2002 Chevrolet Silverado HD 3 quarter ton 4x4 LT. It's only $28,990. We need to move them out. Hurry to your used truck headquarters, Shamrock Used Cars, 40th and Avenue Q. Use AOL with a dial-up connection, and it runs kind of slow, which makes you kind of sad. So get Cox high-speed internet and supercharge your AOL. Downloads are faster, not using a phone line is faster, and reducing your AOL bill by up to $18.95 a month will make you very happy indeed. Supercharge your AOL and save over $150 on Cox high-speed internet. Plus, your first month is free. Act now. Limited time offer. Mother-to-be has everything expectant and new moms need to be happy. From maternity clothing of all types, including lingerie, to new mommy essentials, Mother-to-be has it. Plus children's clothing from preemie to 24 months. 
And don't forget baby furniture. We have the best brands because your child deserves the best. Consider our versatile baby beds and convertible changing tables, plus armoires, dressers, and rockers. So if you're a new mom or a mother-to-be, stop in to Mother-to-be, 50th and Memphis in Memphis Place Mall. This is Steve Langdon, owner of Gold Sim Super Club at 50th and Slad. This is what people are saying about my club. <laughs> Gold Stem Super Club, 50th and Slide. You're invited. I think it's a great tribute to Channel 13 for uh, recognizing him on this 50th anniversary and happy birthday to all of you. Oh, happy birthday, uh, KLBK. Uh, Dub Rogers was a great uh, visionary pioneer for the business in this part of the country. Happy birthday, CBS 13. Thank you. And welcome back. 50 years ago today, Dub Rogers brought television to West Texas. Well, the station then was called KW TV. Now, of course, it is KLBK TV. Now, this afternoon, business, civic, and community leaders gathered in our studios to wish us happy birthday. KW was Lubbock's first television station, and for that matter, the first television station between Dallas and Los Angeles. 50 years ago, uh, thousands of people gathered downtown Lubbock to pull a rope that would turn on KW's transmitter. In 1952, all of the programming was done live, but in the mid-50s, an invention would change television forever. Dub Rogers was a part of that historic change, and tonight, Dub uh, tells us about this invention in his own words. Knew that tape was being developed. Uh, this was, I guess, the greatest industrial secret in our industry was at what stage was a tape, the development of the tape? April 16, 1956. And uh, that's a piece, uh, uh, one of the first scraps of videotape that was ever presented to the world. Ampex went to CBS. And then what they wanted to do is now they wanted, under controlled environment, uh, top secrecy, but they wanted a network to, along with their engineers, uh, to do some additional uh, uh, testing. He said, all we want at CBS is that the, we, you deliver to us the first 35 production models. But this machine over here was the 38th one they ever made. I bought the third one outside of, after Ampex satisfied uh, CBS's uh, needs and requirement of 35 machine. That was the third Am Ampex machine that was ever delivered. Because we knew that um, outside the transmitter itself, that this tape machine was going to revolutionize our industry. <laughs> and it's changed again. We've now gone digital from, from tapeless to digital. Uh, we want to thank everyone who helped us celebrate our 50th today. Tonight at 10, we'll share more memories from many of the folks who stopped by the station today. And that includes right. some people who were actually here the first day that we went on air. That's so that's right. that's a great story. So lots of lots of reminiscing going on. Absolutely. Today. And right. David's coming up next. David, no more chalk weather forecasts <laughs> either. Right, it looks like we've got uh, at least one more day of fairly tranquil weather. All the things do begin to go downhill tomorrow and Friday, looking a little bit stormy out there. Current conditions out of the airport. It's been a fairly warm day today. We're at 59 right now. It's partly cloudy skies and winds from the south at around 15 miles per hour. High and low, 65 and 40, normal 62 and 35. No rain today, begin a cold rain, maybe even a few flakes of snow by Friday night. Details next in weather. Neil Diamond in concert, December 3rd, United Spirit Arena. Get your tickets now for Neil Diamond Live. Click on TexasSize.com to find area's best restaurants. Now featuring Damon's Cafe and Catering. Why search the rest when the area's best is on TexasSize.com? Do you have any insurance? What's insurance? It's when you cash in to me and Maverick Insurance pays to get my car fixed. So Maverick Insurance makes it all better? Uh-huh, plus they have low down payments and low monthly payments. Do they have discounts for kids? Well, they do have a lot of discounts and immediate coverage. You should check it out. Hmm. Need insurance? Better call Maverick Insurance. See your local directory for the Maverick Insurance location near you. 
click on TexasSize.com to find the area's best real estate. Now featuring Rose Real Estate. Why search the rest when the area's best is on TexasSize.com? At Big Daddy's Collision Center, we're serious about repairing vehicles to pre-accident condition. Big Daddy's technicians use safe and approved methods which allow us to offer you a warranty for as long as you own your vehicle. And our paint department is second to none, using the best and newest spray booths to ensure a factory quality finish for your vehicle. Remember, the lowest estimate is not always the best estimate. Ask for Big Daddy's and you ask for quality. Hi. I'm Lance Washam, owner of Big Daddy's Collision Center. If you or somebody you know has been involved in an accident, we can help. See our ad in the fights. Click on TexasSize.com to find the area's best insurance. Now featuring Barry Strickland Insurance Agency. Why search the rest when the area's best is on TexasSize.com? Introducing the Weekends Off program from LA Weight Loss. Choose the food, lose the weight. I love frozen yogurt, bagels, pasta. I am an ice cream fanatic. Choose from all these foods through the weekend and still lose weight? I could still have all of those things and stay on the program. I could have desserts, so there was tons of different foods I could eat. Eating with no guilt is the best feeling in the world. Call for your free consultation. L.A. Weight Loss Centers, 1-800-526-SLIM. The weather on the South Plains can change in an instant. That's why Chief Meteorologist David Young constantly updates Lubbock's most accurate forecast. Here's CBS 13's David Young with your weather. Even with the downsloping winds today, temperatures still below 70 degrees. Right now we've fallen to 61, 53 in Plainview, 58 in Brownfield. And look at all those high temperatures, mid to upper 60s, lows this morning in the 30s, except Lubbock, which bottomed out around 40 degrees. Overnight forecast for tonight, we should see partly cloudy skies, 59 now by tomorrow morning, down to 39, but the winds shifting to the northwest by tomorrow morning, 10 to 25 miles per hour. Clouds gathering now to our north. We've got partly cloudy skies here, but mostly cloudy. No rain, though, in the can handle at least for now. Temperatures in the mid 50s there, upper 50s here, 60s to our south and 40s over into New Mexico. So really temperatures not that cold out there. The winds right now from the south to southwest around 15 miles per hour. And I think what happened today is the winds were not really from the west to southwest as the models were uh, telling us. They were more from the southwest to south. And that, of course, uh, can uh, kind of equal out that uh, downsloping winds. So we didn't see temperatures as warm as we otherwise could have been. Futurecast winds southwest 10 to 20 tonight. Tomorrow morning, front begins to barrel south northwest 15 to 25. By noon, around 15 to 30 miles per hour, so getting kind of windy towards the uh, noon hour. And by 5 o'clock, north to northeast winds at around 10 to 25 miles per hour. We'll still have sunshine, so 61 and 39, the high and low for tomorrow. And as you plan out your day, 39 by 7, 55 noon, around 61, around 3 in the afternoon, falling back to 57 by 5. As the clouds begin to increase, 40 futurecast, no no precipitation, at least with this front initially. That may change by Friday. Tonight, 11 o'clock, the front begins to make its move towards the southeast. Some snow in the uh, Rockies and maybe a few showers in the Panhandle by tomorrow morning. But that should stay away uh, for uh, the West Texas area, just increasing cloudiness by 5 o'clock. And we'll begin to watch an upper level low pulling in from the north and northwest, which will increase our rain chances by Friday. Well, here's what's going on. Some snow showers in uh, Colorado today. Lots of clouds to the north. And that's with this upper level disturbance moving off towards the east, but by Friday, a fairly strong system will dive down into southeast New Mexico, and that will increase our chances for some showers and maybe a few thunderstorms, especially on Friday, but by Friday night, maybe enough cold air for a flake or two of snow mixing in. Low temperatures tonight falling into the 30s, mostly clear skies over the next seven days. 61 tomorrow, 47 degrees on uh, Friday. And again, as we end this precipitation on Friday night, maybe a, maybe a few sleep pellets or very light snow mixed in, not a significant precipitation event. Then the weekend looks dry, warming back into the 60s. In fact, much of next week looking very warm, uh, even next Wednesday still mid 60s, which is fairly typical for uh, this time of the year. So again, going to be a chilly finish to the weekend for the Friday night footballers. Could be a little bit wet. All right, thanks a lot. And of course, lots of folks are going to be here Saturday too for the big, right, uh, that's big true. UT and uh, Tech game. Speaking of sports, let's head over to Brian Mudd now. Brian. Yeah, we'll talk about that game a little bit coming up. Also, latest signing period is underway. We'll have the latest from Texas Tech and South Plains College tell you what players are coming and going. And you'll like what you see for the Lady Raiders. Three more local stars sign up with them. We'll have details next in sports. Click on TexasSize.com to find the area's best insurance. Now featuring Grimes Insurance. 
Why search the rest when the area's best is on TexasSize.com? Treat your pickup to a complete selection of pickup accessories at Fleet, now on a new street. You can't beat our selection of heavy-duty grill guards and bumpers. You can meet the top names in toolboxes, headache racks, chrome accessories, and here's something neat. Fleet has same-day installation. Plus, here's a popular feat, wheel-to-wheel Go Rhino Nerf bars. From Polytech spray-in bed liners to super chips to something for your seat. You'll want to make repeat trips to Fleet Pickup Accessories now on our new street, 5610 Frankfurt, one block north of Frank Brown Auto. We're in the Feist Yellow Pages. Click on TexasSize.com to find area's best home improvement. Now featuring Heinemann Homes. Why search the rest when the area's best is on TexasSize.com. CBS 13's Brian Mudd is on your side, bringing you the stories behind the scores, covering everything from Little League to high school sports, from Texas Tech to the Cotton Kings, the NFL, and everything in between. Time now for CBS 13 Sports, on your sideline. All right, friends, important day for Tech basketball. The latest signing period is off and rolling. Time for all those earlier commitments to make good on their promises and make the program better. We'll start with the Lady Raiders who get shooting guard help from a couple of players. Canyon, uh, Canyon's Brooke Ballman will sign later tonight and also in Plainview today, Alicia Robertson puts pen to paper for the Lady Raiders. Robertson averaged 18 points, 9 rebounds during last season's state championship run. I'm ready to have a good season this year and uh, what I'm really excited about is one of my lifelong goals is to win a national championship and I think in the future, Texas Tech's the place to do that. Yeah, the Lady Raiders third inking comes in from Leveland, where a versatile 5'11 forward Tawana Flowers signs up. Tawana dropped in 15 points per contest for last season's playoff bound Loboettes and is extremely excited about the chance to play at Tech. Getting to play under one of the greatest coaches in the world <laughs> and just being around my family and getting a chance to play in front of West Texas, just here. Yeah, Bob Knight's Red Raiders signed three, going back to the junior college ranks for two of them, both six foot eight forwards, both good rebounders. Devon Giles from Seward College in Kansas and Mike D uh, Travis from City College of San Francisco. Also Midland League guard Drew Kaufman, which won recruiting service ranks as the 11th best senior prospect in the state. So new stars on the way in, some stars on the way out. The guys' side at South Plains College continuing their tradition as a Division I feeder program. Three players moving on and moving up. Forwards Marcus Jackson and Cassiano Matthews moving up together. Both signed deals today to play for Jim Herrick and the Georgia Bulldogs. Guard Logan Lee also signs up. He'll play at Hawaii. Other signing news at Texas Tech today. Tech Volleyball picks up River Road High School star Kylie Lyon. Also, the track team signs Abilene High Hurler and Relay State Champion Sean Harris. Larry Hayes' baseball team gets two players on day one. Many more coming tomorrow. Today, it's big 240-pound right-handed pitcher Charles Platt out of Alvin Community College and all-state catcher Josh Yates from Alamo Heights High School in San Antonio. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, we're counting down. The Saturday's Red Raider football matchup with rival Texas does not look like receiver Anton Page will be ready to play there. He's getting three treatments a day on the bad left knee, but still on crutches and a lot of pain there. Cliff Kingsbury's name is one of 14 semifinalists for the Davey O'Brien Award. That's good news. They give it every year to the nation's top quarterback. And if you look at his numbers, of course, Cliff would win it thing hands down. Of course, politics involved and all that kind of mess, but hopefully keep your fingers crossed for Cliff. Lots of politics involved in that. Most definitely so. And, of course, we're seeing that as far as the Heisman campaign and everything goes. But who knows? Hey, maybe a good performance against Texas this weekend in front of a national audience. You'll see it on ABC 28. Maybe that'll change things a little bit. Can't hurt. That huh? could do it. I think I yeah. could do it. All right. Thanks a lot. We'll have a final check of the weather coming up after the break. Stay with us. This portion of CBS 13 News is brought to you by Medical Staffing Network. Tired of the same old grind? Work when and where you want. Call 780-4180. Could I see your proof of insurance, please? Here you go, officer. Don't pay more than you have to. Maverick Insurance eliminates a middleman, so you pay lower insurance rates. Wow, do you have insurance? Oh, yes. Here you go, man. Texans prefer Maverick Insurance. We're there when you need us. Thank you, Maverick. 
At Vision Mart Express, we beat the competitors 50% off sale prices every day. Just listen. I got one pair of glasses for only $38.74. Vision Mart Express has over a thousand frames to choose from. I got my glasses with bifocal lenses for $58.74. Vision Mart Express has one hour service. My glasses with the new progressive lenses were only $88.74. Vision Mart Express will beat any price on brand name frames or they're free. In Lubbock on the corner of 68th and Slide across from Circuit City. Neil Diamond in concert. December 3rd, United Spirit Arena. Get your tickets now for Neil Diamond Live. This weekend, Enterprise Rent-A-Car announces special low rates from just $9.99 a day. Friday till Monday from just $9.99 a day. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. 1-800-RENT-A-CAR Get the right price at the right place right now. Today at W.D. Wilkins Furniture, when you buy a recliner, you get a recliner free. Buy a recliner for only $2.99. Get the matching recliner free. Buy this recliner for $3.99. Get the matching recliner free. Buy this recliner for $4.99. Get the matching recliner free. Choose from a huge selection of leather recliners and leather sofas. And today, when you buy a recliner, you get a recliner free at W.D. Wilkins Furniture. And remember, free's a very good price. Guys, we're going to look at the seven-day forecast again. Tomorrow, things begin to change. North winds 15 to 30, bringing in the cooler air. 40s on Friday, some showers, maybe a storm, and perhaps a little wintry mix late Friday night, but it's out of here for the Tech game on Saturday. 50s for highs, and then next week looks warm Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. Highs in the mid to the upper 60s and lows in the 30s. But I will say this, next Wednesday, 30, things may begin to change a little bit. We may be looking at a little cooler pattern by it late next week, and uh, we'll see if that verifies, but uh, certainly could use a little bit of rain out there. Wintry mix. What does that mean that includes, exactly? That includes rain, maybe a little sleet, and maybe a few flakes of snow. No travel problems expected, okay. though. Right. Okay, that's good. And it's yeah. okay probably for football then, yeah. maybe. Hey, unless hope. you're out there shooting some of those games Friday night. <laughs> yeah, that, Ooh, that'll be Then it. it's going to be cold. Yeah, yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us at 630. Right. See you back here at 10 o'clock. This portion of CBS 13 News is brought to you by the Texas Size Internet and Television Network. Uh, major car dealer.